Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about uh, the Express framework in the Node.js and I using the TypeScript. So, what we're gonna learn for this today is how we can uh, build a middleware, uh, not on the basic one from the previous video, one more like it when you use the the basic authentication from the the protocol. You can use anywhere. It's the standard and the, it's very simple to work with in the beginning to, to get some control of what's happening. So that's what we're going to do for now. And uh, you need to install a new NPM library. I'll show how that is working. And before we continue, I really hope you want to make me a favor to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner of the video. And of course, if you have any questions, please make a comment below. And don't forget all the code will be on my GitHub profile. You can find it in the description. So let's, uh, let's start into coding. The first thing we want to do now should be collapse the rules, of course, and then we can just say basic authentication. Whoops, I need the TS on it. And inside here, we can just make the middleware and call it basic auth. And then we make uh, a function. And inside this, I want to request could be any, the response could be any, and the next could be any type. And I will just say, uh, so this one is called middleware and basic auth here. And then we just say next. Let's export it by the default and call it basic authentication. That what we're gonna do now. Let's go in for the index here. And before we are hitting logging, I will just say basic authentication. We are included in the top. If your editor don't do this, just be sure this is hidden. I will go in for the get here and click it here and go back. So if we go a little bit up here, you can see we are hitting basic authentication. I'll just having the console a little bit here because we need it. So let's go back again and make a new one. You can see basic authentication, logging, and request time. That's what we're going to do now. Now we can see that's basically working. So you are ready for, for the next step. So let's npm. And then we need to install basic authentication. I know. If you have working with the Express before and you will say, oh, we have an Express basic authentication. And I will say, yes, but that's not the video it's concentrated about. That's This is how you can build it from scratch and you can have the totally control. And you don't need some package to control your way of uh, stuff. So this is how we can do this. So npm install basic authentication and we can just uh, use this one, and whoops, and run it again, sorry, and uh, then I will just run the development mode again. Now we have it run, and be sure this is middleware still working when we hit it, it's look like, and we still hit it. Let's go back, and uh, in the top of this file, we will say authentication. And then we require, and then we say basic authentication here. And uh, then we have the middleware inside, and inside the middleware here, I will go down and say const user is awaiting for this one, and we have it here. And of course, we need a async. And why I do this is because I've, I'm not 100 sure about this in this scenario, but what I have discovered before, it's like it's, I get some weirdo errors. So this is the way where I personally know this is still working. But you're very, very welcome to make a comments below and tell me what I'm doing wrong uh, here if you have any some feedback for me. And then we have user, username, sorry, it should be a string. and be a test and 
the password should be a string two and this should be one, two, three, four, five, six. And below here, we can just say if the username, username is equal to the username, then we allow um, lowercase to lower and to lowercase here. So we know always it should be lowercase always. So the username can only be once. And then we need the user pass it should be 100% equal to password. And here lowercase is not allowed. If this is correct, then we can just put it inside the next. And then if it's not correct, we can make a error inside here. In the error, we just say the status code is equal to 401 and the response end by saying x is denied and i'll just say console lock here and say basic auth succeeds and then i want to say one more and call it failure and then we basically need to test it. So let's go up here and see the authentication. I'll just say nothing authentication and see what's happening. We get some error here, I can see that. Uh, and that's because we don't have it. It's property and I think that's what we're going to do now. So let's go up here and see what's happening. Access denied because we don't have anything inside. And I'll just say basic authentication, do it again, access denied. And we just say test, and the username should be one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see what's happening. Now it's working, we are access approved. If I'm doing something here, it should be access denied. And if I say test user here, it should be access. If I do this one, it should be access denied. So everything here it's working as it should be so now we basically have a basic authentication and it's working as it should be thank you so much to have you here today and i really hope you appreciate that and i really hope you understand what i mean here and how you can making authentication based on the middleware of course this is a static one in in this area you can just send the request inside and make it happening inside the database and check it out but this is the very basic one so don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the link below in the right corner in the video and like and share this video and don't forget my uh, links to the my GitHub profile and the code will be in the description below. Thank you so much and have to see you next time. Bye.